Hi, little children, boys and girls. It's time for a story from Taylor's Bible Storybook. And we're starting kind of a new section of stories. And um, this is story number 28. And it's called The Princess Finds a Baby. After hundreds of years of Jacob's children and grandchildren and their children, and became a great nation in Egypt. There were so many of them that it took many days to count them all. Then a new king began to rule over Egypt who didn't care anything about Joseph and, and all that he had done to save Egypt. When the new king saw how many of Jacob's descendants were there, he was afraid of them. He, he thought that someday when his enemies came to fight against him, that Jacob's huge family would turn against him and help his enemies then and run away and go back to their own country. He didn't want that to happen, and he wanted them always to stay in Egypt as slaves to do his work. So this wicked king persuaded the Egyptians to treat Jacob's family, now known as the Israelis or the people of Israel, very cruelly. They made slaves of them, making them build houses for the Egyptians and work in their fields. But the more cruelly the, the Israelis were treated, the more of them that there were. God had promised Abraham and Isaac and Jacob that their children would become a great nation. And now God was doing as he had promised. Pharaoh told the women who took care of the babies to kill all the Israeli boys as soon as they were born. The girls could live, he said, because they would never be able to fight against him. But these women feared God and they did not obey the king. They let the little boys live too. And God blessed these women for doing this. Then Pharaoh told all the people that whenever they saw a baby boy among the Israelis, they must throw him into the river so he would drown or be eaten by the crocodiles. What a cruel king he was. But God protected his people from the evil king. Now, I'm going to tell you about what happened to one of the little Israeli babies. His name was Moses. Moses became one of the greatest men in all of the world when he grew up. His mother and father loved him very much. And they were afraid that the Egyptian king's men would come and take their baby away and kill him. So the baby's mother hid him at home for three months after he was born. Then she made a little basket from the stems of long weeds that grew by the river and smeared the outside of it with tar to keep the water out. It was like a little boat and it would float safely on the water. She put her baby in the little boat and floated it out among the bushes, bushes along the edge of the river. She told her daughter, whose name was Miriam, to hide there and watch to see what would happen to the baby and to try to help him in any way that she could. Soon a princess came along. She was one of the daughters of Pharaoh and had come to bathe in the river. She and her maids were walking along the river's edge when she saw the little boat in the bushes. She sent one of her maids to get it and bring it to her so that she could open it and see what was inside. And when she opened it, there was a little baby. She felt sorry for him, and she decided to adopt him as her own son. This must be one of the, the Hebrew children, she exclaimed. Miriam, the baby's sister who had been watching, and now she went over to the king's daughter and asked, May I go and get one of the Hebrew women to take care of the baby for you? The princess said yes, so Miriam ran home to get her mother. And when her mother came, the princess said to her, Take care of this baby for me, and I will pay you well. So the baby's mother took him home again. And that's the end of story 28. The princess finds a baby, and it's the story of how Moses was born. We'll see you next time for another story from Taylor's Bible Story Book. 
See you later, boys and girls. Bye-bye.